Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Things are going on on the screen. It's like you're on. So um, I don't have uh, an introduction. You know me. I just wing it, okay? Come on, go have a cup. Come and have a cup of coffee with me. I'm lonely over here. Help me out, okay? Uh, uh, news update. How'd I get 49 subscribers that fast? Thank you. What the heck? Jeez, I was looking at Christmas. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, okay? Holy cow. I didn't realize it would climb that fast, but thanks for your support. And, um, you know, I've had technical difficulties. Maybe my lighting's not the best. The words didn't match my mouth. You know, I'm a rookie, but I'm looking for the Hall of Fame someday. Hopefully not the Hall of Shame. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I stress it enough that I really appreciate the well-wishers and uh, the people that watch my videos and, and, and support my videos. And I know you guys got an appetite for the gangster stories. And yeah, I'm torn because I do not want to be a one trick pony. And I want to tell other types of stories or just things in general about movie stars, uh, pro athletes, current events, but I'm not going to go political on here because uh, you get you get warnings and strikes. So we're not going to really get political. Leave that for those other clowns. I mean, I could speak very eloquently on that garbage, but we're not going to go there. All right. No, we're going to keep this uh, simple and, and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, um, uh, my video didn't have any problems. You know, I had some outdated uh, Wi-Fi router and all that. And I, and I complained. I complained to my service provider and they just gave me the runaround. And then I just went back there and brought the equipment back and said, you got to give me some new equipment or I'm not, I'm not going to pay my bill. But then they cut you off. They have a monopoly. So. Hopefully, these videos will start to be more straight and smoother without any freezes and delays and all of that stuff. Because I try my best. I try my best to, you know, this is my little studio, a light, the thing, the window. Uh, there's no bells and whistles. There's no introduction. There's not nothing. You know, I mean, so my supporters are true supporters. They're, you know, you can overlook all that. So I appreciate that because we're visual people and we, we want to see, uh, you know, things that catch our eye, pique our interest and stuff like that. But if I'm good enough and you like me enough to keep your interest, thank you. Thank you. We all want to be, we, we want to, we all want people's approval. We all want to be liked. We all want to be loved. Ah, someone tells you otherwise, I don't know. They might have some problems. So uh, who's going to be my 50th subscriber? And uh, uh, oh, my thumbnail is uh, my book. I wrote a memoir of uh, divine intervention, different parts of my life where I was saved when, when I was in the hospital uh, and things like that. Um, and I wrote a book to in tribute to, well, I wanted to write, I don't, I, I didn't write, it's on Amazon books, but uh, I bought books so I can give them away for free. And if anybody wants a book, 
put your address in there, but I know you don't want to, you know, we ain't trying to show nobody's addresses over here, but so, you know, I'd give you a book for free. I didn't write it for profit. I don't have money and I bought like a thousand copies. You know, I still have some left, but I don't, I don't have it like that. I'm not, I don't have it like that. I'll read an introduction to it, and I'm not here because see, I don't, I don't want to get that flavor, like, oh, here he is trying to sell a book. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, money comes in handy. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm all right. I'm, I, I'm blessed for what I got. But to share a message of inspiration after, after the chapters could be about when I was in the hospital when I was four years old, or I got uh, shot at, or or different things where a lot of times divine intervention came in and saved me. And I stress that after some of these chapters. So, you know, for inspiration, don't give up. That's all. And here's the book. That's me. Well, there's, there's my marker. That's me. At four years old, right after that, I went into the hospital with Mono. I was in the hospital for about a year or so, and I saw the angels then. So uh, I'll just read. Hang in there, folks. I know it's a turnoff, but I got to put a video together today. Hey, Leon. Leon's my main man. See, I'm a sensitive person. All right. Thanks, bro. So, you know, uh, I did a dedication. Yeah, I'm going to put it in. I, I'm going to put it in there. You know, um, so it's it's just like like an introduction what motivates a person to write a book you know you know, we all have a story and we all want to be heard i i think i don't i guess some authors may just want to create a conventional old-fashioned story that hopes to be entertaining all right I'm guessing that the majority of writers out there are just trying to paint the canvas based on a wide ranging interests and coloring them interests and coloring them in with captivating scenarios. No, so we want we want to put a, a, a baseline down and color it up and keep your attention and you'll like the book and and keep reading, keep turning the pages. It's probably safe to say that most people have a story to tell and like sharing them within their inner circle of family and friends. But what experiences are so far from the traditional stories that they inspire a person to want to share them with a worldwide audience? Me. There are, there are many books out there possessing many topics from A to Z. There are thousands of subject matters to match the infinite curiosities and interests of the world populace. I will attempt to share my experiences as eloquently as possible. I love that word. Within those experiences, there are many spiritual occasions where the forces of good and evil show their face. Yes, I integrate that in with the stories because good and evil is real. I, I not only want these stories to be entertaining to you, but I would hope they would somehow resonate within the inner depths of your mind, soul, and spirit. I do a spiritual devotion. I would also hope they would initiate an open mind in a non-judgmental and less critical way of your conformed past experiences. We're conformed into what we believe in and don't believe, and we'd say, oh, you're full of crap, or oh, maybe, maybe not. It's up to you as a viewer, as a reader, and all of that good stuff. What I am saying more or less is don't just be another closed-minded humanistic robot. One, like myself, in reflection, would have never guessed that 
I would go on a wild journey. Well, let me, let me reread that. I'm supposed to be a good communicator and a great reader. One, like myself and reflection, would never have guessed what a wild journey my life has been thus far. Thus far. So, you know, many of us live our lives in such a plutonic, routine fashion and usually become somewhat safe and secure within our traditional beliefs about life and death. We have our feelings about life and death, and most of the time we're stuck in them. So nobody wants nobody to shove anything down the other person's throat. I hope that I have challenged you and dared you to think outside of the traditional constraints of your mind. Open your mind up. The book is called They Dead Missed, Amazon Books. I, have, I, I, don't, I don't go on. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, I think I actually made an actual physical sale of two or three, but I've given I've given away a hundred. And I'm not wealthy, I'm not rich. Okay. So uh you know <clears throat> give you a little more backstory or a little more for because I got 49 subscribers now. We're gonna get to 50, no problem. And uh uh I just wanted to get a, a, a video. I'm putting another video together, but this guy is kind of dodging me. This old time gangster dude, and he's dodging me, and I'm pressing him. He's like 81 or whatever, 82. And I know he's got some nice goodies and Scooby snacks that I would, would make some good stories. So, uh, you know, that the chapter one is early childhood. Uh, then, then there's uh, chapter two, business school, and working for a Chinese businessman. I worked for this Chinese guy that was the first guy to bring over the down jackets into America. Down jackets, or, you know, for winter. Chapter three is courtroom stories. Some crazy stories uh, about a couple things. Uh, then chapter four, more or less, working for uh, uh, major crime family while selling steel, which you've, you've heard some stories on that. The steel business and meetings with the feds. Chapter six, traveling to Vegas. Chapter seven, car accident miracle. Family reunion, looking at photos. Let me stop right there. Go to a family reunion, okay? And... People came in from all over the country, and there was uh, there was photo albums on the tables, and you can look at certain people and and things like that. Very fun, festive time. I loved it. I I like that communion with the people and my family and meeting different people and 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 stuff like that. You know what I mean. Do I always say, and stuff like that? <laughs> uh, so, uh, we go to this, uh, we go to this family reunion, and uh, I'm, I, I'm sitting by myself, I'm taking everything in, and um, there's a speaker once in a while talking a family, you know, talking about things, you know, and uh, so there's these albums open and everything, and I'm looking and I'm drawn to an old picture, like country picture where you lived in a cabin, like the 1890s or whenever the camera came out, and uh. I see a husband and wife, like with the straw hat and the, you know, uh, stuff like that. And um, and I was like, those are that's my family that will that never that just goes unnoticed, and the, you know, our ancestors and elders that just never go noticed. And I thought, geez, you know, there should be there should be words spoken on that, and uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. 
you know, they might have been my great grandfather, great grandparents, or great great grandparents. And uh, and I and I and I look and I'm looking at this lady's my the grand the, the woman's face, my grandparent great great grandparent and uh i'm tripping on it i'm looking and i'm like she's looking at me it was weird she says, she's looking at me like <laughs> i mean uh so uh and then i looked at some other pictures in, in different settings and i remembered her face and so uh, fast forward, I was, I was, uh, sleeping one night. I woke up in the middle of the night and, uh, you know, I had like a night lighter or it, it, it was lit. And, uh, I look up in the corner of the room and there's like, these two floating faces, like I don't know, like not animation, but and I'm I'm like rubbing my eyes. I'm going, what am I losing my mind? Am I losing my mind or what? And I'm I'm looking and uh, there's one that's clearly I could see, and the other one was a little blurry. The face. And she was smiling, like with this illumination and love and compassion. And I'm like, what am I losing my mind? And I was thinking back to when I was in the hospital when I was four, and I didn't know what an angel was or anything. I didn't have no um, schema of my past experiences to know like angel or whatever but i remember and i asked the nurse oh somebody came in here and there's you know i was just a little boy i was uh i was uh, covered in cold rags and it was just an afterthought and i was like i felt this uh and, and i and i told my girl wake up wake up wake up wake up wake up and and I felt this love energy. You people must might think I'm crazy, but um, I felt it engulf me and consume me. And they were there to know. They were there more or less in retrospect to say, "I'm with you. I'm with you. We're here. You, you know, I'm with you." So. Uh, and then there was another time uh, when I got in an accident and I was in a yard, laying in a yard and in the people's yard. And a lady said somebody came to my aid who was the, who, because it was red down poor rain. And, and uh, there was no car, there was nobody there. Then they disappeared. Some people could believe it. Some people might not believe it. I'm not trying to make you believe it. I could care less if you believe it, but that was my experience. That was my experience. So I had that aspect. I was raised Christian. We went to church school. We did communion and everything like that. Just like my niece did a communion and everything. That's my grandfather up there, the great Joe Battaglia. And of course my mother, the great Rosemary Battaglia. And um, we were raised that way. So I just thought that was normal, like, you, you know. And uh, throughout my lifetime, I got spared. I got spared in, uh, from many, many uh, life-threatening situations. Okay? So this is a hodgepodge video. And... Uh, Hey Jimmy, hey, 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 I'm I'm here still banging away. Uh, 49 subscribers. Um, my channel has just blew up. <laughs> so
So I'm just telling some stories from the book because uh, I'm I'm just uh, trying to switch it up because a lot of times I say I'm not going to do a video, but I end up doing it because I miss all my subscribers. Okay. So that was a car accident miracle. And that looking at the photos, uh, that's where I left off on uh, um, going back to the angels. Cause I seen my angels before. All right. Okay. Then I get into a little more different subject matter. Types of failures in life that lead to mental stress. I elaborate on that. Very, very good, uh, might I say. <sighs> Modern day rehabs versus spirituality. There's a matzo ball right there. Pain, another chapter, pain therapy and medications leading to addiction. And then my friend Brian's overdose in another chapter. That was a crazy situation. His overdose on life support and then my overdose. And then some poems and thoughts. Oh, yes. Cup of Jojo's a poet. Better believe it. I'm a songwriter, too. Don't get it twisted, folks. I'm a renaissance man. <laughs> oh, dear. So uh, um, what, what else was in my thumbnail for? Uh, oh, the pillowcase bandit. Uh we covered the book. It's available. Amazon Amazon Books. It's called They Dead Missed. Yeah, it's a goofy title. They Dead Missed. Well, uh, Stephen King had the Tommy knockers. Who cares? So uh I give it away. I give it away. Sometimes I just walk up to it and somebody and give, a, give it to a stranger. Maybe they think I'm crazy until they start reading the book. And then you start thinking, think on things. So I knew a guy, the pillowcase bandit. He might be watching this video because I think he might be a subscriber. Please forgive me, bro. But we had a mutual friend. And I would go over there. He was like my second uncle in, in Rochester. And I don't want to say his name, but Jimmy, it, it, it was Dick G. And um, I used to go over there. And uh, But in the news reports prior to that, there was like, the pillowcase bandit strikes again. He would go up in the windows with a ladder and go in. And, and rob people, and he'd use their pillowcases to carry the loot out. <laughs> and uh, uh, so this went on, and it made the paper and the, and the headlines and everything. So uh, I saw it, and then I met a friend, and uh, we're hanging out and everything. And uh, here comes this other guy. And he's got a pillowcase full of all kinds of crap, you know, and he's trying to sell it to our friend, our mutual friend, whose house we're at, whose house we are at. And, uh, yeah, Dick G. And and I'm thinking, he's the pillowcase bandit. What the heck? And he did long stints in uh, prison and everything, and then he got out and he went back and he got out, but... You know, I hope he doesn't get pissed off because he's 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 older now. I would hope he's a little more stable. But I love you, buddy. Anyways, okay, I love you. All right, this is YouTube. I'm just trying to tell stories. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be like mm, looking over my back. Nah, he's he, he's okay. And if and thank you if you're a subscriber. So he and of course drugs was involved. Drugs were involved. So that's, uh, you, you know, he, he, uh, did odd jobs and things like that when he was in, when he was in prison and, uh, he had a ladder and he got away, he got away with it for a long time. And how daring, how daring, even when there was people in there 
And, you know, how do you enter these places? You're up on balconies. And, uh, you know, if you have a balcony, lock it. I, I have a balcony here, and I that comes to mind. I got my couch in front of the balcony door. You're not going to get your ladder and climb in here. I ain't got anything of value anyways but a cup of coffee. So, uh, yeah. And he was the same guy I would visit in prison and another guy I would visit. And that's where that Jimmy Burke, uh, Jimmy the Gent uh, uh, Burke was, who was uh, Jimmy Conway in the movie Goodfellas. <laughs> and it was a nut house, the visiting room. And uh, that uh, Jimmy Burke would be screaming and hollering. And my friend would be looking over and saying, shut up. We're trying to have a visit here and everything. And I knew. And then I found out, you know, he told me, I was like, don't you have to see him in there? This guy's a psychopathic. Well, maybe they were both psychos, psychopathics. Forgive me if you're watching this video. <laughs> Forgive me. But, uh. All right, James, and thanks for watching, my great, my great man. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I'd be like, Tommy, don't you have to? Uh, so uh, the guy screaming all that, all this stuff and, and everything. And uh, he was Jimmy the Gent Burke. And yeah, they, that's. He's a character in the Goodfellas and and that stuff. And uh I tried to visit another guy and it was it was it I, I I don't know what, like in the prison system and the the visitors and 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 how that all works with the prisoners, but you could get denied. You get denied your visits. Even if the inmate wants to see you. I don't understand what that was about. And so that was, that was Harry Carey. That was sketchy, but that was the pillowcase bandit. And uh, uh, here's a tidbit, the pillowcase bandit, when he was like nine or 10, uh, my godfather was a, uh, in a um in an altercation mickey was in an altercation with another guy god rest his soul god rest their souls and um this guy was young at the time and he ran in the house and got a butcher knife and and wanted to give it to my godfather to finish this guy off a young age at like nine or 10, what's in a person at that age? My godfather didn't need a knife. And he, you know, like, well, who won the fight? Well, I, you, you know, my, my godfather won, but the other guy um, committed suicide because he, he was under pressure and everything. And, um, it was sad. It was sad. And I, and then in the, it, it, later on, you know, I knew who the girlfriend, these other people, I knew who the girlfriend was. I was young at the time and I used to see him visit because they were our neighbors. And he was the guy that got in a fight with my godfather. And he was a good dude. That's life and death. And, uh, you know, God rest the dead and God bless the dead. And uh, so uh, um, I'm rambling on and um, summer is rolling right on by. It's it's uh, it's already the 18th. Wow. It's the 18th. And uh, I really appreciate your support. And um I'm going to get more technical here someday with an introduction and stuff like that. But I'm happy with the people I got. And uh, you accept me, how, how I do this. And that's good enough. 
that's a good enough connection for me. Sometimes we don't need all that extra, you know, the, it's all fluff. Yeah, I want to have a good presentation and a good video and all that, you know, but it's fluff. You could have the best presentation and introduction with all these graphics and stuff, and your and your content is garbage. I don't have any kind of introduction. My introduction is like, are we live? Are we on? Are we? That's my introduction. But you hang in there with me, and I feel the connection, and uh, I appreciate that, and uh, more than you could ever know. So, uh, oh, am I still reviewing? What else was in there? Oh, that was it. Then, then I did some poems and stuff, and, and stuff like that. What do I keep saying this? And stuff like that. Geez, I should name my channel and stuff like that. <laughs> All right. You guys want to hear a poem? I think this is in the depths of addiction. Okay. It's, uh, the, you know, it's called solo flight. You know, you you isolate yourself in addiction and this is a journey. This is a flight, solo flight. So let's begin. A cup of Joe, a cup of Jojo is trying to be a poet now. I did have some stuff I turned into a, a label in California, a couple of country poem songs, and they robbed me. Rotten, explicit, explicit, expletives, expletives, swear words, those rotten fill in the blank. All right, solo flight. I know it's a turn off, okay? Sitting here doing time alone with my friend. I've committed no crime. It's just me I offend. Trying to deal with this hand I've dealt myself. Is this solitary now? Because there's no one else. This war has left me lost and stranded. Can someone tell me where I have landed? Set me free, set me free. And all of this hell inside of me. Three days without and I'm feeling clean again. Trying to go the distance with this demon I call friend. This war inside of me, I can't fight it anymore. Just find another 20 and I'm itching to score. Weekend warrior, you've been fighting way too long. Because it's the middle of the week and you're still not gone. Set me free, set me free. And all of this hell inside of me. I'm killing myself, but I don't believe it. With those echoes in my mind screaming, leave it, leave it, leave it. But he's still running those laps inside of my head. Like a lost evil soul risen up from the dead. So I picked my own poison. My choice was rough. Because one hit is too many and a million's not enough. Set me free, set me free. And all of this hell inside of me. Ta-da, I'm a poet. I'm a poet. So uh, there it is, and uh, thank you once again, everybody. Today is August 18th. We're going to do a paragraph from the Jesus devotion, and this is the spiritual aspect of my channel, and uh, it's a little spirituality, psychology, and, and lift you up a little, okay? Expect to encounter adversity Expect to encounter adversity in your life. Remember that you live in a deeply fallen world. Stop trying to way to try stop trying to find a way to circumvent these events. The main problem with an easy life is that it masks your need for me. When you became a Christian, I infused my very life into you, empowering you to live on a supernatural plane by depending on me. I've lived on a supernatural plane with angels and demons and divine intervention. Anticipate coming face to face with the impossibilities. Yeah, the impossible, go face to, go toe to toe, go toe to toe with the impossibilities. Getting 50 subscribers or 49, I thought was an impossibility. 
with a screwed up computer, bad video, but I kept fighting every day. Hey, it's only 49 subscribers, but that's, that means a lot to me. Every one of you mean a lot to me. This awareness of your inadequacy is not something you should try to evade. It's precisely where I want you. The best place to counter me in my glory and power. When you see armies of problems marching towards you, cry out to me, help me, God, help me, Jesus. There's, there's an army coming at me. Allow me to fight for you. Yeah, I can't fight them battles anymore. I need some help. Watch me working on your behalf as you rest in the shadow of my almighty presence. I like that arrangement. I'll take that arrangement right there. I can't run and, and battle, do those battles anymore. Did enough of those. So that's cool. That's off. That's a nice gesture from Jesus. God, that's a nice gesture. Gonna help. You folks refuse help. The real help. The real help that can save your ass when you're in some crazy stuff. So connect to it if you wish to. <clears throat> Excuse me. If that's you and... And that's compatible with you, and that's cool. So, uh, all right, folks, that's that in a nutshell. And uh, I'm going to keep forging these coming out. And, uh, yeah, go to Amazon Books. They dead missed. Or uh, I wish I could send you one for free. They dead missed. M-I-S-S-E-D. They that missed. I'm a great author. Yeah, I'm going to toot my own horn. If you read three pages, you won't put it down. You will not put the book down. I'm not here to sell books. I'm here to give them away for free. And inspire hope. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm a, you know, some people don't catch one break in life and die. I've had 20. So, you know, it's inspiration. It's inspiration. Not any monetary gain. I'm not going to get rich on a book. I'm not going to get rich on this channel. I love you all. I try to share a good word and integrate a hopefully interesting and entertaining story. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's that, um, summer's moving along real fast and, um, I hope you're enjoying it and I hope, uh, you're in good spirits and, um, I appreciate your support. So, uh, be the Kings and Queens of your world, my dear people stay great. Don't give up. Don't quit. There's hope. Don't ever give up. Hang in there. Hang in there. You can do it. You can get out of it. Don't get depressed. It, we're, none of us are exempt from it. But try to find some tools and, and things that can make you rise up more in whatever situation you're in, okay? You can do it. And if you need a little spiritual help, call upon it. So, uh, that's that. My kings and queens, my channel's up to 49 subscribers. I never thought it would happen. I think it took me two months to get four subscribers. So this is happening at an exponentially, exponentially higher rate. And I appreciate that. And, uh, Every one of you is important to me because I want you to have a better life. I want, you know, if I entertain you, that's fine. But the bottom line is I was given a second chance from death at life and I can't be an a-hole. I want to give some inspiration and hope and tell you that you can do it and you can rise up. All right. We can do it together. I need help too. This is therapy for me. I need help too. I'm crazy and scattered and stuff, so I, I need help. And let's do it together. All right? I appreciate it. God bless you, and I'll see you all next time. Okay? <laughs>